To change the color of an object in Unity, we need to access the material that is assigned to the renderer of that object. If you have a material variable defined in your script, you can easily change the base color of it just using that variable and with the dot operator access to the color variable, which is a get set value so you can read it or assign a new color. But the thing is, how do we initialize this material variable? Because if it's null, if this variable is empty, here we're going to get a null reference exception because we can't change the color of a material that doesn't exist. There are several ways to initialize this material variable, but basically we can read it directly from the renderer of the object or access the material that is in the project folder. In this video, we are going to solve the problem with this last method, but you'll have to give me a minute to prepare all we need. I'm going to create a new material in the project folder, give it the color, then create two 3D objects and drag the material to them. Let's create a new script where we are going to change the color of the material and an empty game object to assign that script. Otherwise, the script won't be executed, no matter how hard we try. Inside the script, we define a public material variable and a public color variable. In Unity, we take the material and drag it to the variable in the inspector and set the color. Be careful, new colors always have zero in the alpha component. Now that we have all we need, let's change the color of the material. For example, we can do it in the update method, so every frame we are going to update the color of the material with the color defined in the inspector. The instruction would be my material dot color equals my color. That's it. If we run this and change the color in the inspector, it's working. As you can see, even if we exit the play mode, changes are permanent and also the color changes in all the objects that have that material. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video.